Hello and welcome. Today I'm super excited. I'm going to do a new type of video here on YouTube. I have all of my questions from an Instagram Q&A I did this week. I got hundreds of questions and tons of repeat questions. So I thought it would just be helpful to sit down and do a super informal Q&A style um, video just to answer all of your most common questions. And for those of you who are new here, my name is Stephanie Hatlily. I am a pediatric speech language pathologist here in California. All right, let's get started. First question. Does a word need to be said daily for it to count as a word? And the answer is no. Your child doesn't need to say the word every day for it to count as a word, but they should be saying the word consistently. So I like to say you should have heard a word at least three or five times from your child before you count it as an actual word. And there are two more criteria for it to count as a word. It should be said independently, meaning that your child is saying the word on their own and they're not copying what you've said, and intentionally, or they're using the word for a specific reason to let you know something. For example, if they say ba, let's say ba is their word for bird, they've said it three times, they say it on their own, and they say it every time they see a bird, either flying outside or in a book to let you know that they see a bird. Okay. The second question is how many words at 14 months? And at 14 months, I'd listen for a toddler to be saying at least one word. The milestone for a first word is that a child would say their first word between the ages of 10 to 14 months. So there's actually a huge range in what's expected for the vocabulary size at 14 months, but if your child is saying at least one word, then that's considered on track. Okay, the third question is, my 18-month-old says some words backwards, like shift for fish or a zippa for pizza. Is that normal? Well, lots of strange things happen as toddlers are learning to pronounce new words. And at 18 months, their pronunciation skills are still in the early stages of development. As a general rule of thumb, short-lived errors, like saying words backwards, that last for a few weeks or maybe even a month are nothing to worry about in speech development. If these kinds of errors persist for a longer time, then it's a good idea to talk to your pediatrician, have an open discussion about your observations, and consider whether a speech and language evaluation may be appropriate. Question number four. I got a lot of questions like this, and I'm just going to give one of the examples. My son is 18 months and just recently sit, started saying five new words and now he no longer says mama, is that normal? When toddlers stop saying a word they used to say, speech therapists call this a language regression. And all toddlers will experience language regression to some degree at some point in time in their development. The best thing you can do if your child suddenly experiences a language regression is to play it cool. You'll listen for them to start saying the word that they've forgotten in a few days or a few weeks. If the word doesn't come back in a few weeks, then consider talking to your pediatrician. I've also linked some additional resources in the notes if your child is experiencing a language regression that can help you at home and help you determine if this is just part of typical development or if it might be time to ask for help. Question number five. Is it normal for a 19 month old to be saying three word phrases? Sure. 
this happens sometimes. There's a huge range in what's expected for vocabulary size and language skills for toddlers. So it's totally expected and typical for a 19 month old to just be saying individual or single words, or they might begin putting words together if they have a larger vocabulary. One thing that does come to mind when I think about a three word phrase for a 19 month old, which is less expected, but not out of the question, is that phrases that we say the same way every time, like, I love you or thank you, don't count as a three word phrase for these young toddlers because they've essentially memorized the phrase and they say it the same way every time. So as a speech therapist, we count these memorized phrases as one word, or you can kind of think of them as one idea idea that your child is expressing through these, this phrase of word, the string of words, um, as your child begins to mix and match the words in their memorized phrase, like, I love mommy, or mommy loves daddy, and they are able to interchange words into the phrase, then you can count it as a true three word phrase. But if they're saying it as the same way every time and it's memorized, it's just the one word. Question number six, how to encourage a 20 month old to begin putting words together? Again, I've got tons of resources linked in the notes for each of these questions, and I have a great resource with tips and activities for teaching toddlers to put words together, so be sure to check that out. And remember that the milestone is two word phrases by two years. And there are some prerequisite skills you're going to want to look out for before you start practicing with two word combinations at home. The main thing is that you'll want your toddler to be saying at least 50 to 100 ish single words on their own before you start practicing with phrases. So if your child has less than 50 ish words, you'll want to practice growing their vocabulary before you start working on phrases. Um, if they're ready to start practicing with phrases at home, then here are kind of three tips or ways that you can encourage that. The first thing you can do is to make a list of all the words that they already know how to say and try to encourage or practice with two word phrases or combinations using words your child already knows. This will be easier than trying to teach them a two word phrase with new words. Um, you can also add to what they've said. So if your child says, daddy, you can say, daddy, look, or daddy, stop whatever message they're trying to express based on the context and the situation, you can add another word on to model a two word phrase based on the single word that they've said. And lastly, you'll want to be sure to model all of your two word combinations as phrases or comments and not questions. So it can be really easy to change your intonation or the tone of your voice and make your comment sound like a question. So a good example would be more water versus more water. Kids are a lot less likely to copy or repeat a question you've asked because they know that the question that you've asked requires an answer. Whereas if you make a comment or just say a phrase without the rising intonation at the end, your little one will be more likely to copy you. Question number seven, at what point do toddlers begin using pronouns? And the answer to this one is a little tricky because there's lots of different pronouns some are learned earlier and some are learned later on. So pronouns like me or maybe you and it are learned 
at one years old, whereas other pronouns like he or she, maybe even I, are learned a little later on. If your little one hasn't started using pronouns, you can try teaching one or maybe even one pair of pronouns like you and me at a time. As you're teaching pronouns, you'll want to start with your child's understanding of pronouns. You want to make sure that they know what the pronouns mean before you try to teach them to say them. So you can practice with directions like get your shoes or get my cup and watch to see if your little one understands those directions. If the answer is yes, they're understanding the pronouns, then you can move on to helping them say the pronouns themselves. One thing that can be really helpful for pronouns because they're less specific than people's names like mama or George is to point or gesture to who you're talking about when you use a pronoun and by kind of combining a pronoun and a gesture, you're helping your child learn how to use these pronouns in conversation or when talking about other people or things. There's pronouns for things too. Um, there's also a ton of great books for teaching pronouns. And again, the list of my favorite books for teaching pronouns can be found on in the resource linked in the notes for this video. Question number eight. My 21 month old pronounces the S sound with a lisp. At what age will this vanish? I can't predict if a lisp will go away for any child, but I definitely wouldn't worry about a lisp at 21 months. So at this age, children are still learning to pronounce the S and Z sound, and they may not even say these sounds at all. These are the sounds that children lisp. And children may pronounce these sounds with a interdental lisp, which means that they say the sound with their tongue between their teeth. So a word like sun may sound like thun. And this is expected or really not something that's addressed in speech therapy until around first grade. So no need to worry about it at one years old. Question number nine. My 21 month old says everything as a question. What can I do to help? So I have a couple ideas. This could maybe just be a phase that your little one is going through. It might last a week or two and then they start talking in comments again or a mix of comments and questions. Sometimes when toddlers learn a new skill like asking questions, they may go overboard. More likely than this though, it's that your child is copying the way that you're speaking to them. And it's super easy, very common for us adults to ask tons of questions because this is how we communicate with each other in conversation. We ask questions, but for toddlers, it's more helpful to ask or not to ask questions, but to use a lot of comments. I have a great activity to help you walk through looking at or thinking about how many questions you're really asking and how to reshape or change those questions into phrases. I love this activity. It's great too. You can do it during any activity that you and your child enjoy. So be sure this is a really good one. Check it out in the description below. Question number 10. My 21 month old often first says a new word pronounced properly. Then it's like he gets lazy and the pronunciation is less clear. And well, it's probably not that he's lazy. There's a few things that could be happening here. When toddlers learn new words, they usually say them in isolation or by themselves. And it's easier to pronounce words clearly when we say them one word at a time as opposed to 
talking in phrases or combinations. So it could be that the first time they say it, they've got all of their attention on this one word. And then when they try to combine it with another word, the pronunciation worsens. That's totally expected. Also, it could be that in the beginning, your child is repeating a word that you've said, so they've just heard exactly how to pronounce the word, and they're able to copy you without forgetting or leaving off any of the sounds. And the next time they say the word, they could be saying the word on their own, so they haven't just had that model or example from you, and they kind of say the word to the best of their ability based on their memory and their current pronunciation skills, which may be helped out or enhanced a little bit by having heard you say the word and now that they're not hearing you say the word and immediately trying to say it, the pronunciation isn't as clear. Lastly, pronunciation errors in toddlers are very, very common. They are just learning how to pronounce all of the sounds in English and combining these sounds in new ways, especially in words that have harder to pronounce sounds or longer words can be really tricky. For a full list of our expected speech errors, be sure to refer to the resource linked in the description. It's great. It walks you through all the expected errors at what age we'd expect these errors to kind of resolve on their own and it gives tons of examples. So you can kind of compare what your toddler is saying to this list to see how speech errors are expected and a part of speech development. Question number 11. My 23 month old says the t sound for the k sound. For example, black is blat. Is that normal? Yes. In speech therapy, we use the term phonological process to describe or define toddler speech errors. This particular error is called fronting and it happens where toddlers pronounce sounds in the front of their mouth instead of making them in the back of the mouth. And this is most commonly seen as toddlers making the t sound instead of a k sound or and or a d, d, d sound instead of a g, g sound. The process of fronting will usually go away on its own by age four. And again, you can see other common speech errors for toddlers in our toddler speech errors resource linked in the description. That is a wrap for our Q and a. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a little thumbs up or a comment to let me know that you enjoyed it. This is a brand new type of video, so if you liked it as much as I did, I'll be sure to continue adding more like this where we go through some of the most common questions asked by parents and Another great thing I loved was being able to link all of the resources together in one place for you as an easy reference and something you can easily go back to also in the future. With that, I think we're all finished. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back here again soon.